what's up guys today i'm going to be showing you how i did this light painting video effect so this effect is actually a bunch of photographs edited together to create the light painting this short video clip is actually made up of 21 photos so i took these photos in a completely dark room with an led light and my settings for each photo was a 0.8 shutter speed an f14 aperture and an ISO at 100. And I had my camera in continuous photo mode. So as I held down the shutter, it would just keep taking photos in sequence. And then I would just slowly move the LED light around the subject until I had at least 20 photographs. So now I'll go through the editing process. I have all of my photos in my event in Final Cut Pro. And this is what each photo uh, looks like. So to start off with, what I'm going to do is just select the first one and press Q to import it into my timeline. And then what I'm going to do is skip one frame in the timeline. So you want to zoom in so you can see each frame in the timeline. And you can either use your arrow key on the keyboard to skip a frame, or I'm just going to click onto the next frame. And then I'm going to select the next clip, press Q. So it's overlapped a frame ahead of the one before. And then click on the next frame, select it and press Q. And I'm just gonna keep doing this until I have all of my photos in the timeline. Okay, so all of my photos are in the timeline and it should look something like that, all layered on top of each other. So the next step is to select all of the video clips and then go up here to modify change duration and I'm just going to start off at 10. This will determine how long the light stream is and then the next step is to go up to blend mode with all your all of your photographs selected and then just go to add and that's where the effect sort of shows itself which is it's pretty cool all of the photos lighting up the subject at once gives it a really cool effect. So now if we play this through you get the light stream effect. So if you want to make this light stream shorter or longer, then you can just select all your video clips and change the duration. Uh, let's say you want to make it longer, so we'll put the duration at 15 instead of 10. And then the light stream is longer. You can also put it all into a compound clip. So select all of your photographs, right click and go to new compound clip and then that will just put it into a nice tidy video clip which you can speed ramp or add more effects to. So another thing that I was experimenting with was single long exposure photographs at the same angle which created these long smooth uh, light curves and then you can actually overlay those like the other photographs and just add a mask to animate the uh, light wave. So I'll just do this one, I'll import it over my video clip cut it down to how long it is and then go to the blend mode and go to add so this adds it within the other light stream and then what I'm going to do is add a mask to this so we'll go to effects masks uh, shape mask and we'll turn this into a small circle and with a big feather and then if we go to the transform hit the keyframe button on all of these making sure you're at the start of your video clip and just bring it to the start of the wave just off screen and then go to the middle bring it to the middle of the wave and then go to the end and follow the wave off of the screen so now it sort of animates the wave so now if I play the original and the other light wave, it just adds another element to the effect. You can see it in the background. So this is what the timeline looks like for the edit I did at the beginning. I have my soundtrack at the bottom and this soundtrack is from Epidemic Sound. And I have a link down below that will get you 30 days of free music from them. And it's copyright free, you can use it on YouTube and still monetize your videos, which is awesome and a few sound effects which are included in my sound effects pack. I'll leave a link to that down below. And then we have all of the light stream effects in the compound clips to tidy it up a little bit. And also overlapped some of the light stream effects 
and change the blend mode to add so that I actually had a couple of light stream effects on top of each other going at the same time which also works if you're shooting from the same angle and then I had some adjustment layers which just slowly panned in or out to the subject and then the zoom out and zoom in and out layers are from a plugin which I will link down below which adds a smooth camera zoom like a punch in and a punch out and also a couple of other extra bits within that plugin and then I had my final adjustment layer on the top with the color correction with a custom LUT called Crimson from my new LUT pack which you can check out link in the description and yeah that's pretty much it for that one a super cool effect I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one